Well, in order to do some safe road testing, I got to get some of these small <laughs> ones off of here. Got some damage, so I'm, it looks like I'm going to have to use Graptar to beat it off of there. Yeah, I like Graptar when he behaves. <laughs> These old rusty things cleaned up pretty good. Quite surprised with that and happy. So first thing today, I'm just going to take off a little bit with the parking brake still on on the trailer, see if they hold, and then I'm going to engage it, and then I want to park the trailer on this side of the shop so I can get my welder out to it, because i got some welding to do, all right? Well, it looks like the parking brake test was good. <laughs> yeah, they work. Good to go. Bruh. Now then, I got the grinder. I have electricity. I have the welder. At least stretched pretty close. I think I can get it the rest of the way. And of course, fire suppression. get a good workout after a while heck after two minutes Well, I think that's on there. I don't think that's ever coming off. Well, I like it. like it'll do it primer and paint will be good to go
All right, time to take it for a test drive. That's where I've mounted the camera to take a look at what's going on with the tongue. If anything, everything is good to go. Bed is clean, or cleared off rather. <laughs> All right, let's hit it. Well, it's been about uh, two hours since I drove it. The first drive was uh, no more than about 35 miles an hour. Uh, the second one, I got up to about 50. And I have to say, this thing tracked beautifully with the truck. No swaying, no problems at all. I did feel a little bit of something in the truck, but you know, it's, it's a pretty heavy trailer. So I guess maybe I should have heard felt something anyway i want to go under and just see if how well the uh the air has held in here because i heard somebody was saying that uh using teflon tape um they just there's been a lot of talk about it and he didn't really in, uh, know why uh people were having problems with it so like i said it's been about two hours let's just see if the tank still has uh air in it and this should be a pretty good test of whether it uh, holds on to the air or not or if it's tough on tape is leaking it out so I would say that the Teflon tape works just fine <laughs> hey guys I really appreciate it thanks for being awesome and uh, watching the video and continuing to support it if you like the video and if you like this series, click on that like button, won't you? And if you leave a comment, that's actually how YouTube puts it out to other folks. 
and more and more people can watch and, and the channel just grows. So I really appreciate it if you would also leave a comment, even if it's just, hey man, saw your video, <laughs> good stuff, thumbs up, whatever. I, I thank you, thank you so very much. The next thing is getting some electrical on this guy and making a pigtail. I do have some schematics. I just don't really have the uh, plugs. Uh, what am I gonna do with that? Hmm. Well, I'll just have to figure that out. I also, and many of you guys know where I can find one, I also would like to get an extended lunette ring for the pintle hitch, just to get the trailer just a little bit further back so when I'm making sharper turns, I don't have to worry so much about the trailer making contact with the air supply or the bumper or whatever. So if you guys know a place where I can get one, an extended uh, lunette ring, uh, please let me know in the comments. Certainly appreciate it. Until next time, guys, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless.